Next, we're on question number 29, and we're going to use the IV approach to solve a GMAT PS problem. Here, we're going to look at axiom 3. Now, we need to look at the phrase as many as. So, we have as many as hours as. So, we have two thirds in front of the phrase as many, and we have the subject rows. And one more subject, tulip. Now in the second bit, we have rows and 5 over 6, and then as many as, and then the subject, tulip. Also, the next thing to look at is what fraction of the total number and was or is, and cultivate the tulips. So remember these key words of the question. Now, let's go over axiom number one. Now, axiom number one was words such as what or what fraction translated into the symbol something. This something is the answer we're trying to get, and the word of translates into multiply, and word is or was turns into equal sign, and percent turns into 1 over 100. Now the next thing we're going to look at is axiom number 3. Now axiom number 3 deals with the phrase as many as. So let's say we have something, say x is sometimes as many as y. Or just sometimes as many x as y. Then you can translate these phrases or questions into something attached to the y. So the equation becomes x equals something times y. So remember axiom number 3 and number 1. Now this is also a 2 by 2 question type. And this is a separated 2 by 2. So to solve a 2x2 two two problem, we first draw a 2x2 two two table. Here we go. So on the first column, we're going to put roses. In the second column, we're going to put tulips. And on the first row, we're going to put numbers. And the second row, we're going to put hours to cultivate one flower. So let's say cultivate hours per one flower. Now, since this is separated, we can call this area Rn, and we can call this Tn. And let's call this RH, and let's call this TH. So now if we translate the question, we had 2 over 3 as many roses. So roses was RN, as we defined, as tulips. So tulips was Tn. So using axiom 3, this number 2 third becomes attached to Tn. So then the equation will become Rn equals 2 third of Tn. Now the second question, second part of the question was rows hours so rows comes in front so rh is 5 over 6 as many as th
So here we have RH in front. And the number will be attached to TH. So the equation becomes RH equals 5 over 6 TH. And we want to avoid using fractions. So let's call TN equals 3N. Then RN becomes 2N because 2 thirds of 3 equals 2. Likewise, here, let's call TH equals 6H then RH becomes 5H because 5 over 6 times 6 is 5. Now we can plug in these values in the table. So this was 2N, T was t 3N, and RH was 5H, and TH was 6H. Now if we multiply numbers with hours, so the number for roses was 2n, and the hours for roses was 5h. So if you multiply them, we get 10hn. Likewise, for tulip, we get 3 times 6 equals 18hn. Now our question was, using axiom number 1, what fraction, so something times total number, so total number was 10hn plus 18hn, was, so was is is, equal tulip. So tulip was 18hn. So something times 20hn equals 18hn. So we can cross out hn both sides. And if we divide it by 2, we get 14 and 9. So something equals 9 over 14. So our answer for this question is choice E, 9 over 14. Remember the axioms and the 2 by 2 table. Make sure you remember how we solve this problem using the IV approach.